Space, the only area which was left out of the weapons race, is on a frenzy again. In the 1960s, during the Cold War, the two superpowers decided that space was too dangerous to keep any weapons, and the space treaty was accepted by both. But China is at us again with its usual moves, like copying Soviet and American weapon systems. So how is it that China is laughing at us? And how exactly the duo of Space Force and Elon Musk will save America's spot on top of the world? Want to know more about this? Then stay tuned till the very end. Hello and welcome to Elon Musk Evolution. If you're a Musk fan and don't want to miss anything about this incredible person, then smack the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. In today's video, we are going to tell you how Elon Musk and the Space Force together will beat China down to the ground with their new space weapons. So the news is that China's decision to test an advanced hypersonic fractional orbital bombardment system, or FOBs, in August last year. A capability the United States still does not have. It has not just caught the US intelligence community by surprise, but has demonstrated for the first time that the military technology gap between the two superpowers is smaller than the Pentagon has so far assumed. If we go down the history line, it's the same tech that scientists and engineers in the Soviet Union deployed in the 1960s. It involves launching a nuclear weapon onto lower Earth orbit around 150 kilometers, where it will stay as it floats above the planet before deorbiting back down over the intended target. At that time, the Soviets were motivated by the US's then formidable missile warning network. However, FOBs would allow a missile to be launched into a pole-to-pole -pole orbit above Earth fly up over the mainland US from the south and wreak its destruction. Fortunately, the Soviets never used this weapon thanks to the US upgrading its early warning systems to include space-based surveillance for missile heat signatures. This said, we know that many countries in the world, including the US and Russia, are attempting to build such a system today. But on October 17 last year, Financial Times published a report that has set the fire among the intelligence community. China built and tested a FOBs in August last year. According to the report, a missile China's defense establishment tested attained a speed of 33,800 kilometers an hour, more than 27 times the speed of sound in air, and circled the planet once before descending on a target in China, missing it by just around 40 kilometers. The fact that the vehicle flew so fast makes this weapon a hypersonic FOBs, which would make it even harder to track and or intercept. But Marco Langbroke, an expert on space situational awareness has written in light of the report that while the U.S. Space Force space-based infrared system would still spot a FOBs launch, the FOBs might be able to evade the country's ballistic missile defense system. That is, one of FOBs' few remaining advantages is that it may be able to beat the BMD and strike targets within mainland U.S. This is why the Chinese test is expected to have spooked the U.S. Fravel did tell the Financial Times that simply testing a missile doesn't have to mean China has a functional hypersonic FOBs, but other unnamed intelligence community officials quoted in the report have said just the fact that China has been able to test such a weapon should have jolted the US, which has underestimated the extent to which China has modernized its military before. As one unnamed official told the newspaper, we have no idea how they did this. But does not mean America lost? Well, not until Elon Musk is here. Recently, SpaceX and the Pentagon signed a contract to jointly develop a new rocket that can launch into space and deliver up to 80 tons of cargo and weaponry in just one hour. Tests on the rocket are expected to begin this year. It's expected to shuttle weapons around the world 15 times faster than existing aircraft, like the US C-17 Globemaster. Think about moving the equivalent of a C-17 payload anywhere on the globe in less than an hour, General Stephen Lyons, head of US Transportation Command, said at a Wednesday conference. The new contract is further evidence that SpaceX is leaning hard into military partnerships. Last year, Elon Musk's company won a contract with the military's Space Development Agency to manufacture four missile tracking satellites. This means there's no way China is getting past these satellites. Prior to that, the Army approached SpaceX about turning its constellation of Starlink broadband satellites into a new military navigation network, and Space Force officials let slip earlier this year that they were already working closely with SpaceX after awarding the company a contract last August. The new weapon delivery system resembles a militarized version of something that SpaceX CEO proposed back in 2017, when he talked about passenger space travel. Back then, Musk proposed launching passengers into space and then quickly landing them back down closer to their destination. The new plan is highly similar, just with weapons rather than people. And that's not all. 
The U.S. Air Force is reportedly considering the deployment of highly sophisticated new weapon systems in space in partnership with Elon Musk, which is currently under development under Project Thor. While the 1967 Outer Space Treaty prohibits the U.S. from deploying nuclear, biological, or chemical weapons in space, this new weapon promises to deliver strikes more powerful than many types of nuclear and chemical attack, while avoiding the unfavorable fallout which follows nuclear strikes. Development of a non-nuclear space-based superweapon also provides the U.S. with a potentially massive advantage against adversaries with a no-first-use policy for their own nuclear arsenal such as China and North Korea. Allowing the U.S. to strike targets with the same level of force as a nuclear warhead without escalation to a nuclear war. Investment in such a capability would come amid growing American interest in non-nuclear strategic weapons, which has also included investment in the conventional prompt Global Strike Hypersonic Intercontinental Range Missile program for the Navy's submarines and stealth destroyers. Project Thor will see telephone pole-sized tungsten rods 20 feet long and 1 foot in diameter dropped probably from Elon Musk's satellites. It'll strike hardened bunkers and underground nuclear complexes. These rods will not carry warheads, but will strike at approximately to 10 times the speed of sound, allowing them to cause tremendous damage with the sheer speed of their impact. This would provide an alternative to both nuclear bunker busters and conventional ones such as the GBU-57. North Korea and Russia, both of which deploy considerable assets from well-hardened installations, are th thought to be the primary potential targets of these weapons, alongside China, which has been hardening its own missile sites and nuclear facilities. The cost of deploying these rods, which weigh over 10,000 kilograms due to the density of the tungsten, may be prohibitive. Each rod is expected to cost over $230 million, several times the price of conventional and nuclear bunker busters. But it's definitely an effective strategy, and that's not all. Elon Musk's SpaceX is maybe more capable than we think, because recently when a Twitter user reminded him of Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin putting cases against SpaceX, he tweeted, maybe zap, we know who, on the head with our space lasers. He was replying to a different Twitter user who wondered, at what point does Elon Musk have a Falcon Heavy hover over Bezos' house all day? Needless to say, if Musk controls any deadly space lasers, they are not publicly documented. And we also know that the latest generation of SpaceX's Starlink satellites are outfitted with laser terminals to allow them to communicate with each other, but maybe they're also designed to headhunt Chinese and Korean dictators? And the idea of space-based laser weapons orbiting the Earth has been a part of popular culture and real-life government projects for decades, from James Bond's GoldenEye to Ronald Reagan's ambitious Star Wars program. And according to reports recently, the Pentagon also began developing a framework to promote the innovation of what it calls direct energy weapons designed to weaponize laser systems for use against military targets. The U.S. military more than doubled its spending on dues between 2017 and 2019, from $535 million to $1.1 billion. Other nations, such as China and Russia, are also investing in these due systems. But needless to say, maybe they have money now, but what they lack is the intelligence of Elon Musk. So let's see how it all pans out. And disclaimer, we don't favor wars and weapons, but if the person next to me has a rifle, I cannot just take a pencil when time comes, because not everyone is John Wick. Hope you got the point. Okay, folks, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in watching more videos on Elon Musk, then what are you waiting for? Simply click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon because new videos are on the way.